Hello and welcome to Your Average Bear Gaming. I'm George and today I want to talk a little bit about these guys. These are the Space Marine Heroes Edition 4 or something like that. I don't know that Games Workshop is calling them Edition 4. Um, they're the Blood Angels Edition, I guess, but they're the fourth ones. The very last release of these guys uh, was the third edition, or third season. I forget which of the two terms Game Workshops uses for this. Uh, but those were the uh, Nurgle uh, kind of Terminators or Space Marines. Uh, and so these are the immediate release that follows. So it stands to reason that they're Season 4, Edition 4, Series 4, whatever you want to call them. The whole point is that these were released just a few weeks ago, um, and they were pretty cool, but they left something to be desired, and when I unboxed them a little while ago, um, I thought they were cool, but I didn't think they were really cool the way other uh, releases of the Space Marine Heroes uh, were. But I couldn't really put my finger on it, and I think I figured out what it is that's bothering me about these. So that's what today's video is about. Specifically, I want to compare them to these other minis that started it all. Space Marine Heroes. Hey, look at that. Series 1. These are the very first. Are these guys any cooler than these guys? Are they any different? And I I couldn't come up with the answer to that. So, today's video, we're going to compare Series 4 against Series 1 to see how they're different. Are they different? Are these any better than these? And if not, what's the value? Why did I spend another 60 bucks on these guys when I already had these guys? Let's compare the two and find out if I'm crazy or if Games Workshop pulled a fast one on us. Okay, so I've established the parameters of the video. I want to see if these are any cooler, any better, or really if they provide any value above and beyond what these guys do. And I won't know for sure until I build these guys. I haven't really touched them since I got them. And I've built these because I wanted to show them off already built in one of my previous videos. One of the things that I noticed in that video is that, look, there is no blood angels emblem. In fact, there is no blood angels iconography on any of these models. Look at this guy. He could be from any Space Marines chapter. And you know what? I, that's fine because maybe you want to add some tactical marines to your guys and you don't want, you know, you don't have blood angels, but you want to add these guys for some reason. You want to spend more money creating these as opposed to your normal tactical marines. That's cool. Spend your money however you want. But I'm trying to find what the value is, right? Because I love these things, but I don't know why. Is it just because I get to buy one more Games Workshop thing? Maybe. These guys don't have emblems. And if memory serves, these guys don't have emblems either. These are Ultramarines, but so far as I can tell, there's nothing ultramarine -y about this. And I wanted to answer this question because I like these models. I think they're cool but I don't know that I could recommend anyone buying them, especially now that they are no longer offered on the Games Workshop store. At least I don't think. You have to go out and uh, find a scalper to <laughs> see if you can get your hands on these guys. So you're probably gonna be, pay a premium over and above what you would have paid Games Workshop. Is it worth it? I don't know. So before I start trying to paint these up uh, to make them look cool, I'm going to build these all of these and give them a side-by-side -side comparison to see if there's any difference that I can see at all. Building these Series 1 um, Space Marine Heroes models is, is a weird case of deja vu. It is very similar 
to the Series 4 Space Marine Heroes, right? Ultramarines versus Blood Angels. The building process is exactly the same, and I don't mean exactly the same as in, you know, Games Workshop has kind of a set of rules and a kind of a paradigm to the model building um, process you know, over the years. Uh, you know, so sometimes it's like front half and bottom up. Uh, front half and back half and you put those together you put a head in you put in each, each of the of the arms uh, and you know as the technology and artistry has changed over the years um, then how those models come together uh, has evolved and so each generation feels like themselves compared to previous generations it's kind of what I was expecting, right? I was expecting a difference between the first series and the fourth series in how you put these models together, and I didn't find a difference. As a matter of fact, they didn't feel familiar. They felt exactly the same. Uh, the way the parts came together, right? So, you know how you have uh, a, you know, maybe like the back of the torso and one of the legs and the parts that you glue on the torso to the other front torso like you you add glue to certain pieces well that was exactly the same between the two the two series that i'm considering here and it's it's unusual because there are supposed to be similarities because the technologies and techniques are are the same but they're not supposed to be exactly the same these uh, these were exactly the same. I'm not saying that they're re-sculpts or that, that they're the exact same sculpt. I'm saying that they probably did a lot of copying and pasting from the previous files to these new ones, such that it feels almost exactly the same. As part of this overall sameness, I noticed that, you know, while neither of these two sets of models has a ton of scraping to do to get them cleaned up for painting, the the place where the mold lines and the um, and the gates are found on these models are also exactly the same. So every leg has a tiny little mold line kind of from the front and back and you have to scrape, scrape that off. It's not a big deal, but it's on every one of them. And also some of the models have a mold line going right down the shoulder and a gate right on the darn shoulder. Why should it have gone on the shoulder, the one part of the model that is supposed to be the smoothest? Well, I don't know, but it was a mistake in Series 1, and that mistake was carried over in Series 2 in almost exactly the same way, which tells me that they didn't do anything different between Series 1 and Series 4. That is not great. I will say there is one difference that I noted between these two series of models, and that is the quality of the plastic, or at least the feel of the plastic. It feels like Series 4 has a, a nicer, quote-unquote nicer, feeling plastic. It seems a bit more sturdy. It feels a little more dense than Series 1. Um, I, I suspect that the Series 1, they were trying to see if uh, it would be successful, so they maybe didn't spend the money on kind of a higher grade plastic. I may be completely wrong, right? I'm equating density with quality, and that may not be the case. I am not a chemist. I have no idea what I'm talking about. What I can say is that they feel different. The Series 4 feels heavier than Series 1. And so I suspect it's a different kind of plastic with a slightly different density. In my mind, that means difference in quality, but that may not be the case. They're different. That's all I need to say, right? And so here they are, my fully assembled Series 1 Space Marine Heroes. Um, they were remarkably similar uh, to build as my Series 4. Um, that's kind of what I was expecting given, I don't know, as I was handling the Series 4. Um, I haven't done the side-to-side -side comparison yet, but yeah, these feel really similar, man. Uh, as a matter of fact, this guy, this guy right here, he looks suspiciously similar to one from series four. 
So that's a decent segue. Let's do these side-by-side -side comparisons. Here are my Ultramarines and Blood Angels. You'll notice that Series 1, the box had a lot more models in it than Series 4. We've got we've got 12 models for Series 1. We've got 6, 7, 8 models for Series 4. What gives? What's happening there? Uh, that doesn't seem cool. But, have, having said that, I will say, Series 1, I had a ton more repeats than I did in Series 4. Here's an example. Series 1, I had four models that were unique. The rest of this gang are repeats. I've got two of this guy, two of this guy, two of this guy's reloading, and two of this guy. Over in Series 4, I've got two rocket launcher dudes, and I've got two more reloaders. So, aside from all the repeats that I had within each of the series, did you notice a pattern? I sure did. Look at this guy right here. He's a rocket launcher dude. Oh. Oh, that is so lame. He's exactly the same. He's not just holding a rocket launcher. His breastplate, which is a very hard to see here, is exactly the same. But look at look at this guy's boot. And look at that guy's boot. It's the same boot. Look at the shoulder pad, the trim, that detail on the trim. It's the same trim. Other boot same thing. The only difference between these two models is I built this guy with the helmet and I built this guy without the helmet. Is that just me or is this lame? This is literally a recast in, well, admittedly better plastic. This stuff is pretty soft and kind of scratchy. It feels a little cheaper than most Games Workshop stuff, but it's the same darned model. Lame! Let's take a look at these guys. These are the reloading dudes. Oh, man, that's painful. It's the exact same model. Not only are they both reloading, they're reloading with the same hand. The gun is in the same position, but look at the utility belt. Grenade, grenade. Look at the chest plate. It's exactly the same. Look at the purity seal. The exact same. They didn't even bother swapping backpacks. I know they have a bunch of different sculpts of these backpacks. They couldn't have swapped it out. There's that little detail on the shoulder pad. The, it's like a little bullet casing. Same thing over here. So, not only do I have two of these for the first series, I also have two of these for the fourth series, and they're exactly the same model. Blech. Same story here. Space Marine holding a bolter in the ready position. The only details to speak of across these models uh, are the utility belts. It's got that cylinder, the pouch, and the smaller pouch. Cylinder, pouch, smaller pouch. Purity seal. Same backpack with the skull. I mean, this guy is the same, it's the same model. Look at the bases, the bases are, are the same. And last but not least, look at this. These are the sergeants. It's the same guy. Same chain sword, same grav gun or grav pistol. Look at the power pack detail. It's the same squiggly line. Look at that utility belt. With purity seal, exactly the same. They are both standing on the same statue on the broken ground. I don't know if I'm hurt or offended. I mean, no, I'm most definitely both. That was unacceptable. What the hell, Games Workshop? That is... That is unacceptable. I was kind of digging on these models before it clicked that, you know what, these are very familiar. But they're not. They're not familiar. They're exactly the same. <laughs> I, 
I don't know what to say. I uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I was kind of expecting to see something different, maybe a slightly different pose. Certainly the, the, the equipment pouches or something would be different, but there's nothing here. Series 4 is a complete recast of Series 1, and... Uh, okay, so the good news is that if you really wanted Series 1 and you didn't get it, or if you've just relatively recently gotten, gotten into Warhammer 40k and you thought, hey man, these are really cool, I could really use another uh, uh, a tactical marine squad that are a little special, well, you could have gotten Series 4, or I guess now pay a scalper for this re-sculpt. So, you know, there is that. If you missed out on them the first time, you can get it in on them the second time. Although, really, you can't because they sold out too. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm disappointed. I, uh, I'm still going to paint these. I just won't be excited about it. I do have an idea on how to make these a little special, a little different from each other. And now, as I think about it, it's going to be more important than ever to dress them up a little bit. So before I end this really unexpectedly sad entry into your average bear gaming, uh, I decided I should check, right? Maybe Games Workshop said that they're re-releasing Series 1 as Series 2, you know? Um, and there is one mention in Warhammer Community, and I quote, you might have seen these models before in Ultramarine Blue, but now they are firmly on the side of Sanguinius. There you go, guys. They told us it was a recast. Well, <laughs> sort of. That is the most shenanig uh, shenanigans I've seen out of Games Workshop, I think, ever. But, you know, I haven't been uh, all over this hobby uh, over the past... 20 years so I don't know maybe there was some other shenanigans that was that were more egregious than this one uh, in the past <sighs> oh well thanks for watching I'm gonna go cry now have a wonderful afternoon be nice to yourselves and each other <laughs>